is my uh, Kiwi SDR. I've had this for at least a couple of years now. I was trying to think just when I bought it. It's a couple of years back. And it's been connected up and running pretty much faultlessly. Well, absolutely faultlessly for all the time I've had it. It's one of the most used pieces of equipment in my shack. It's not very interesting to look at. But if you've seen my more detailed videos on the Kiwi, you'll see what a versatile receiver it is. One of the concerns I had about this Kiwi, although as I say, I've had no problems with this one. But what if something went wrong? The uh, single board computer that's within this uh, went down, for example. How could I replace the, the Kiwi? Because they haven't been manufacturing these Kiwi SDRs for some time. So there was no prospect of uh, getting a spare one, a reserve one, if you like. Until fairly recently, um, the gentleman that developed the Kiwi SDR has now brought out the Kiwi SDR 2. And uh, it's obviously in a slightly different casing. Although you can probably see that the uh, respective size is similar. And um, on the Kiwi SDR2, we've now got three outputs rather than two. We've got the um, SMA for a GPS antenna. We've got the uh, SMA connector for the antenna, for the RF antenna. And there's a connector for an external clock. And then on the other side of the Kiwi, kind of similar connections to what we had on the uh, SDR1, Kiwi SDR1. We've got a USB, we've got a um, Ethernet port there, we've got uh, an input for a 5 volt power supply, and we've got a little micro uh, USB connector there as well, just above the, uh, the power connector. So that's the Kiwi SDR2. Now, Obviously, to make this video, I've disconnected the uh, SDR1, which, as I say, must have been running for 24-7 uh, for a couple of years, at least, without any problems. I now need to decide whether I'm just going to keep the SDR2 as a backup or install the SDR2 in place of the Kiwi SDR and just keep the original as a spare, as a backup radio. There have been a few enhancements with the SDR2, but... I don't think they're major enhancements. They're not going to make a great deal of difference to the reception quality that uh, myself or other users of my SDR will experience. There are a few little additions. I'll flag these up in the video. One of the great advantages of the Kiwi is obviously it's remote access and it's relatively simple to set up. It's pretty much plug and play. The only alternative to using something like a Kiwi SDR, if you're interested in remote control of an SDR radio, is to use uh, OpenWebRx software with a traditional SDR, like an SDR Play or an RTL dongle. Now, they do work, and I've, I've gone that route myself. I have set up OpenWebRx, and you've seen that in my earlier videos. But for HF only listening, the Kiwi takes a lot of beating because with the Kiwi SDR, when you open that up, you can see the whole 30 megahertz of HF spectrum at a glance. And not only that, you have a very compact standalone unit, whether it be the SDR2 or the SDR1. Everything is built in here. All you need to do is to connect the power, connect it to your network via the Ethernet cable and uh, connect an antenna. And um, even with the GPS antenna, it's very straightforward. My GPS antenna is uh, directly outside the shack, just sits on top of a wooden fence post, and it works absolutely fine. And you get uh, within the uh, the kit that comes with the Kiwi, you get the um, patch antenna for a GPS with a length of cable and uh, an SMA connector on it. So that comes with it. The only additional thing I had to buy for the two was a suitable power supply. It didn't come with a power supply, but it comes already installed in its case. So in the next video, I'll show you how easy it is to set up the SDR2. And I also decide whether I'm going to run the SDR2 permanently and replace the original or keep it in, um, in reserve, so, so to speak. But at the very least, we'll set it up 
we'll check that it's all working okay and I'll show you how easy it is to set the Kiwi up to start off with to enable you to access it over your own network at home and also how easy it is to set the Kiwi up so that you can access it remotely from outside of your home network really from anywhere in the world and you can open your receiver up to other users if you so wish. So there it is, the Kiwi SDR2, latest addition to my shack. Look out for it in a future video.